This is Hanging Heavy. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Hanging Heavy. As always, I'm your boy, Desecrator. And today, we're going throwback style. And by that, I mean double OG. And who's more OG than me? I'm talking about Bobby Ray. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, it's just the good old boys today, and uh, there ain't nothing wrong with that, but uh, I just got some startling news, and something that uh, I wasn't going to really go into, because I kind of didn't care, but... There was a UFC tonight, 261, I believe. And, uh... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know how to get to it, but... Fucking... <laughs> uh, one of the undercard fighters was uh, Chris Weidman and Uriah Hall. Now, Chris Weidman is a... Uh, an older fighter. Uh, he's kind of not in the limelight anymore. He's not the fighter he once was and uh fuck today. Hold on. I have a I actually have a fucking button for that. Today ain't your day. So, uh unfortunate news, but it's combat sports. But if you want to go ahead and take a moment to just do a quick Google search, quit a little quiz. <laughs> Chris Weidman versus Uriah Hall. And uh, I think it was 17 seconds in the first round. God damn it, Bobby. Fuck that. I don't need that shit in my life. <laughs> uh, damn, that was a perfect chain. Yeah, homeboy. Went for a leg kick or a shin kick. And uh, Uriah Hall checked the kick as you normally do when somebody throws a low kick. And Chris Weidman's fucking leg. Snapped like a twig. Now, it happened so quick, and I'm sure he had so much adrenaline pumping at this moment, he didn't immediately realize that his leg was at a 90-degree angle, or, yeah, a 90-degree angle, almost. And uh, when he pulled back the leg, uh, Mm. he tried to plant the leg, and... Ooh, he tried to put weight on it, and it just buckled, and... Ah, he was stepping on his stump. Oh, oh man, <laughs> it's fucking. I, go away. I bet you when he put his leg down, he felt no stability. He was like, oh. <laughs> but uh, I guess uh, today. What is today exactly? March 24th, or April 24th. God damn. March, we're going back in time. Damn. April 24th. Uh, rest in peace, his career. <sighs> Fuck. Uh, that, that was just so... I just got told this bit of news right before we hit record. Uh, shout out to Malbolja. He's the one that hit me up with that. But around here, we like to do a little tradition of... Taking a shot of whatever we're drinking for the night. Uh, you don't have to join along, but peer pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure. You're not cool if you don't do it. You're not cool. <laughs> but yeah, if you're drinking water, take a swig with us. If you're uh, drinking a beer, chug that motherfucker. And uh, you ready, puppy? 
Do it. Let's down this bitch. Three, two, one. Uh, so yeah, fucking yikes. I don't, uh, so Papi just sent me a, a screenshot of, uh, the leg in question. Ugh. I don't think that's an open wound. I think that's the skin. You don't think so? I think that's the skin folding. <sighs> you know how your elbow on the inside? I don't know, man. It looks, the boy, looks, fold, fold looks your open. arm. You fold the arm. You see how there's that, no, like, crease? Yeah, I, I think yeah, I that's what's I happening on the front of the shin. Because that skin is not used to being able to bend. Yeah. <laughs> man, that's unfortunate, dog. But you know what? Let's have another moment of silence. I bet you he walked away like... (laughs) But yeah, fuck. That was uh, too gruesome to not bring up. So it's literally over? You can't come come back I mean you can but it's not the same it, yeah like it's so the, fragile the bone is weakened at that point unless you do like some kind of crazy old school Thai fucking bone building exercises or some shit or they fucking put a plate in it like no that it's never gonna be the same again uh, ah, think, think about it like a like a football player, the most recent, the most recent person to happen that some kind of shit like that to happen to was Dak. D- Dak is whack. Yeah. No, but I understand that because in football you're not hitting somebody with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So exactly my point. Yeah. Think about how they feel knowing that they could get it crushed at any moment. Because that that's one of those injuries that people don't really think about. And, I mean, a fucking big dude landed on his ankle, and that's why it snapped, right? Yeah. And, uh, I mean, the dude is just throwing. That's crazy. Uh, Some guy breaks his leg because a big dude landed on it in a weird way. And this guy just breaks it by kicking another guy. Well, I mean, bones are hard. (laughs) Oh, yeah, but it's just like, fuck. Yeah, he, he, his intention was there. It's not like it happened on accident like Dak. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah, <clears throat> but fuck, man! It the 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 irony of all of this is Chris <laughs> Weidman several years ago built his name defeating one of the greatest MMA fighters of all time. So for for those of you that don't follow MMA that much, I don't really follow it anymore because fucking fighters are boring now. Uh, but back in the heyday, uh. Anderson Silva was one of my favorite fighters. And Chris Weidman uh, f- was, uh, he earned the title shot against Anderson Silva when he had the title. And uh, Anderson Silva's, uh, he's known as a striker, right? He's got super long legs, super long reach. He's very nimble. He knows how to kick. He- he's a-, a dangerous person to fight at the- at distance. So a lot of people like Weidman, he's a wrestler, most majorly, right? Like that's his background. Yeah. But he he learned other things, right? As you're supposed to in mixed martial arts. It's not called wrestling. <laughs> and uh fucking Anderson Silva was known for his kicks and he goes for almost identical kick as Weidman did today several years ago and uh he threw a kick Weidman checked it, and when he checked it, Anderson Silva snapped his leg in almost the exact, exact place and fashion. Uh, Now, this was several years ago, and when that happened, like, oh, fuck, man. Again, that's one of those career-ending injuries when you're known for your kicks and your striking like that. Uh, Fuck, man. Uh. It sucks, but it, it it's kind of I don't I, I would you call that destiny? 
Destiny for from breaking his leg in the exact same way that he made his name you, famous. You mean uh, White Man? I don't know. Is it or what would that be? Car- or Karma? <laughs> I mean, it's not his fault. That's, the other yeah, day it's broke. not Karma. Ironic uh, about it. Uh, what is? Uh, there's a word in my head. I don't know if that's the word. I'm gonna Google the definition just so I don't sound like an idiot. So let me see. I'm gonna. Nope, that's not the word I'm looking for. Huh. I've seen the Silva video, and, like, you know, he hits him, and also I still didn't realize he yeah. broke it. Yeah, but the guy's, like, cheering, like, that he won. Like, dude, he... The really? dude broke his leg. Well, at the time... Uh... Yeah, but the other guy didn't even cheer when this guy broke, like, this guy's leg right now. He, he just stood back, like, whoa, fuck. Well, yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, but this guy fucking raises his hands, like, cheering like he won. Like, what the fuck, dude? So, at the time, I think Anderson Silva was undefeated. No, yeah, I understand the whole concept, yeah. but still, it's like... Uh, he didn't earn it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a freak. Is, does it ha- happen a lot, or... No, it, it doesn't. happens once in a while? Like, uh, let's, see, let, let's, let's Google that. Let's see if Google can pull this up. How often do UFC fighters break their legs? <laughs> Danny and Chris is like skinny as fuck. How do MMA fight. fighters not break their toes, feet, or shin when they kick? Uh, uh, yeah. Horrific MMA injury. Anderson Silva, his leg kick. Yeah, 2013, this happened. Uh, I guess there's not really a. Let's just Google UFC fighters to break their legs. <laughs> uh, Chris Weidman, number one surge. <laughs> Former Already? middleweight champion, yeah. Chris Weidman suffered a broken leg during his 261 clash uh, let's see 15 worst bone breaks in UFC let's do that one let's do that one bleacherreport.com let's see oh, dude I hate websites with stupid bullshit okay oh wow there's videos for each one of these. irony of it the whole irony I of guess it? it's oh. irony it's ironic oh. uh, Yeah, it sucks. Well, no, I guess it doesn't happen very often. Dude, this website is slowing my fucking. Uh, fuck you, Bleacher Report, with your shit ass fucking website. Cool. Let's see. To break their shin. <laughs> Again, he's. Okay, yeah, so I Google who broke their shin in UFC. Anderson Silva was the only one that comes up in this list. Uh, Ozzy. Has anyone broke their neck? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I guess this is so new that there's really nothing else coming so up. So it doesn't, doesn't happen that often. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a freak accident. Oh, fuck. Uh, well, hopefully he fucking recovers. Hopefully he can walk normal. Uh, but yeah. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Damn, man. It, it's one of those. Uh, why did we have to look at the video? Oh, fuck. I had to fuck that. I had to see it. Oh, <laughs> so, like, the thing that trips me out when stuff like that happens is, like, when basketball players break their legs. Yeah. But that doesn't happen very often either, right? Nah. Like, the dudes it, that usually do that are, like, seven some shit, aren't they? It's always yeah. the super big dudes. But yeah, it's all the weight on them. Well, that and because their bones are so long, dude. They bend yeah, way more. 
That's why I like having my short stubby legs. <laughs> I got me a ham bone. Ah, fuck, man. I'm just watching it. Are you still watching the replay? Stop. <laughs> fuck. Ah, just crazy, man. It's just... All right, I'm closing it so I won't keep watching it over again. <laughs> Damn. Have you ever broken anything? I've broken my arm. Never? No, I've as a never kid. broken a bone. Man, I've hit my... We all hit our chin before. Like, I've hit yeah. it. Oh, my God, it hurts. Fuck yes. Imagine broken... Fuck that, dude. Uh, yeah, I've never broken a bone ever, so I don't even know what... I can't fathom that. I've broken my arm as a kid. Like, like where like, did my, you break it? Uh, my arm? Like, the uh, forearm, the upper arm? I can't... I can't tell you what, what directly bone it was. Oh yeah, was, no, no, but, my, but like where on your arm, like the like past the wrist. Yeah, wrist to my elbow, like that the whole part, thing. The whole thing. It, I guess, broke in half. I don't know. I can't remember. But I had to get a cast and everything. I couldn't use my arm. I couldn't write. That's how I learned how to be left-handed for a while. Like uh, that's why I have little left-handed things still to this day. Tendencies, yeah. So yeah. You're, you're ambidextrous. Okay, so it was was it both of the arm muscles in your arm? What was it? It was it both of the muscles or the bones in your arm, like in I the forearm. Know. I can, I can't tell you. Or was it remember. like was the out part, the outside part broken, and the inside wasn't? Because like on your forearm, it's like a chicken wing, right? It's the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Flat. It's two of them. Yes. Yeah. So the one on the inside by your thumb is the radius, and the one on the outside is the ulna. Oh, nah, I can't tell you that. Okay, nah, I, I mean... I can't really tell you. Looking at it, just in a medical diagram, the ulna looks thinner. Like, throughout the entire bone. Because the uh -huh. radius thins out right when it meets the inner elbow. I think it has to be the outer because I yeah. feel on top of my arm. Yeah, probably. That's, That's why I, I think that one's the most common one. That's like if you broke your shin on the front. Because your, yeah. your leg is the same way. It's got a... A split bone in the front, I believe. Fuck, now I'm going to sound stupid, and I don't know what a <laughs> human bone looks like. Uh, let's look up. Leg I bone? Have, I think we have more bones in our feet than anywhere else. Our hands. 26 I think in the hands. Yeah. Just the hands, fingers, palms. Yeah, I think so, though. I think the foot. Okay, yeah, so the... The the shin or the lower calf shin area. There's the fibia and the tibia. Again, one is thinner than the other one. <sighs> Fuck, man. I, I I know maybe I hyperextended my thumb. So maybe I dislocated it because I remember it hurt for fucking months. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, like I... I planted my hand down wrong and it got caught on the rug and I put all my weight on it and just Ooh. I felt a like a, just a searing pain in my hand like I literally just threw all my weight off of it and I fell again right <laughs> but yeah like uh, it it's fine now it doesn't hurt at all like when it gets cold or whatever so it's not it wasn't a break yeah, I fucked with my ankles a few times playing basketball. Like, I rolled on your ankle, and it, eh, well, it fucking hurts. Like, where your ankle gets fat, and you're like, eh, I can't walk for a yeah, while. Yeah, you can't walk for a couple of days, or you need crutches. Yeah. And, that, and that's fucking hard work. Just, I don't even imagine the fucking I, I, chin. I can't imagine what, just hearing the... Oof. Yeah. Like, when I broke my arm, I didn't notice. Like, it, like it hurt a lot. Like, it fucking hurt. And my neighbor came and tended me, and he grabbed my arm. Like, <laughs> he's like, oh, no, nah, it's broken, kid. And I was like, oh, what, what, what else did he grab? Oh, he touched a lot of things. Nah, nah. Like, it, was, it was a cool guy. He was a cool guy. <laughs> a cool guy. <laughs> yeah, and, and luckily my mom was getting home. And the neighbor was like, hey, you're sad. Hey, like, lady, yeah, your, your kid. Your, your like, kid is broken in the street. <laughs> in the sidewalk. I was just there. Ah. Oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, fucking uh, my boy uh, Malbolja. Uh, he told me one time when he was a little kid, he was riding his bike with his friends and shit. 
and he you know, you know how back in the day they used to have uh the parking curb stop at the gas stations and shit yeah he told me he fucking he locked the front tire on one of those fucking dude went flying over the handlebars <laughs> Oh, and uh, he landed like on his shoulder, and he was like, "Dude, like, uh, fucking, I, it hurt, right? But, like, I picked up my bike and like, all, all out, a right? Like, all embarrassed that that happened. Like, he just picked up his bike and he went home. And he was like, "Dude, like, my arm worked fine or whatever, but like, it just fucking hurt, and my shoulder kept hurting. But he didn't want. He was like, I didn't want to tell my parents because I didn't want to get in trouble, right?" <laughs> And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. And he's like, yeah, like, it, it just got worse and worse until, like, I finally told him. And they took him to the hospital and they x-rayed him. He had a fucking broken clavicle. Damn. <laughs> he's like, it's not that, like, I couldn't move my arm, but, like, I couldn't pick anything heavy up because it would hurt. And I was like, well, how did you carry the bike? And he's like, I don't know, man. Uh, just. But it has wheels, man. You just push. Roll the- it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, when you're a little kid, you don't know, fuck, does logic even exist to children? Yes. Back then it did. <laughs> oh, yeah. How about you? I re- fucking... I re- one of the worst shit I've seen when we used to play basketball in the streets, I know that's not, I think it doesn't happen often now, because I don't think they allow courts in the street no more. There's one down the block from my house. Well, Because I've heard that a lot of people, like, they'll tell you to take it off, they don't allow it. Oh, no shit. The, yeah, and like, we used to well, we used to play basketball on the street. You know, somebody will set up a court on the street. We'll play. And well, we're, we're a bunch of us. We're like easily ten kids. Uh, all was playing there. The whole neighborhood. Yeah, uh, was you know, car passes by, you move to the side, right? Yeah, you get car. out of the way. Uh, so we all went. Uh, there's a car passing. We see it. We move out of the way. But this guy is this one of our friends. I, I like. Was dribbling the ball and it bounced it it bounced off his foot. So he chased it. He forgot the car was coming. So the car passes, he's running towards the ball, he gets ran over. Like his leg, his, his foot? back yeah, his foot, his but the backside got run over, like just his leg, his ankle. Oh man, dude. And and the car was gonna take off. And we all fucking yell at the car. Everybody like throw, hit, saying the numbers of the license plate. And, <laughs> everybody and, remember one number. Yeah, everybody like ah, screaming. Fucking, we all reacted, man, because we you know we're all like I said, we use logic back then. <laughs> yeah. And I guess we're screaming and everything. Fucking car stopped, so it stopped. It, but it it went down a few houses, man. Like it, it thought it tried it, to get away. It tried. If I need put it stopped and the guy got off and like, hey, the kid fucking like yeah, like we all knew the kid went to the he ran, was he ran in front of the car. But I don't know what happened. Like I can't any legal issues. I don't know. But we called the ambulance. Yeah, you like that idiot. Yeah, but the guy was like, when that happened real fast, you know, we saw it. We're like, holy shit! And, and he's hopping in one leg. The guy, <laughs> I don't want to say his name. Nah, that's cool. That's cool. And, and he's hopping, hopping in one leg. He's like, ah, oh, my leg. I'm like, fuck yeah, your leg, dude. And he huh. flipped forward. I guess so. He flipped forward on his back. And he's like, my leg. And we all ran to him. Ah, oh, my leg, my leg. Yeah. And so all this was happening. The car stopped finding and everything. And plus we, oh, I don't remember who called the ambulance. The ambulance came and chinged us. We're all just. When the fucking paramedics came to the ambulance, they but they cut his shoe and we could see like the bone was. We didn't see the bone itself, What's but because it? he had socks. Yeah, but you could tell it was like a. Yeah, sharp you could tell. Bone. Yeah, it was out. Like it was bad. It was bad. Like, fuck that. He had the he had the whole deck. Yeah. The whole deck kit. Oof. Yeah. Looks, the kid walked again. But, yeah. How long? <laughs> How long did it take him? Yeah, I can't remember, man. And it took a good while. <laughs> I could imagine. Oh, well, the good thing is it happened when he was little. Yeah. He, you know, well, yeah, he was older. He was a teenager, like 15, 16. Yeah, well, I mean, his bones are still he's, growing and shit. Yeah, so. he's still, yeah. It was that, yeah, because he was older than me. So he was like, probably like, around that age, 14, 14 to 16, give or take. 
Oh, fuck that, dude. Like, ah, I think one of the worst things I've seen is a kill. Like, oh. Uh, so, that's me breaking my own arm. <laughs> so, I, I've, like, fallen off the roof and, like, out of tall trees and shit. But, like, I've the most had my wind knocked out. I mean, who... Honestly, think about it. Like, back then, when parents didn't really give a fuck <laughs> if you got hurt when you were a little kid. As long as you weren't bleeding, you're good, right? Pretty much. Think about how many possible concussions you have. <laughs> <laughs> I fell fa- I fell from a tree. I, I, f- I fell from several also. I fell off <laughs> of my roof once. <laughs> I mean, that's I my that... roof, but I didn't like. I landed okay. Oh like, no! Not... Me, I landed Wait, I... like flat on my back. I land. I landed a few times okay, where I caught yourself. I caught myself, but I still fell on the floor. You kind of yeah. like a tuck and roll kind yeah, of shit. Like, like you hurt yourself, but... but it could have been worse. Yeah, but yeah, I wouldn't lie. If you tell like my balls hurt, like your groin hurt. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I, I I used to get that too. Uh, like um. Uh, I have a little shed in my backyard, and when I moved here, I was maybe fucking 12, 11. And uh, I would climb it, right? Because it's small. You, you you could get on it. It's like the peak of the roof is probably 12 feet tall or whatever. And the the end of the roof is probably like maybe 6 feet high off the ground, a little 7 feet. It's a short little shed, right? And uh, I would always get on top of it. And I remember whenever I would jump down, like, just straight onto my feet, if I landed on my heels, I got, like, a real sharp pain in my taint. <laughs> like, fucking yeah. needles. Yeah. I wonder what that is. Yeah, I know. It's probably not good. No. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bone spurs and shit. Yeah, I remember if you tell me what happens to me when I would jump off the roof or fell or whatever. I'm yeah. Like, Fuck, it hurts, right? Pain. You got to stop for a little bit. I wonder what that is. That's crazy. I'm glad it's, to know that it wasn't just me. <laughs> is big guys falling off high, high, tall heights or how? Or from high places. From too high. high too high places. Yeah. Yeah, yeah big <laughs> guys in gravity don't work. No, 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 no. I would know. I, I fall. I fall in reverse. <laughs> Shout out to those that you know what that means. Sometimes I would jump fences. Like, how tall are Raider fences? Like, like six what feet? fence though? Because there's like, like wood, the... wooden, fri- wooden, your right, average wooden fr- yeah, fence yeah, like you see around feet. the neighborhood. Yeah, like, six like six feet. feet yeah, yeah but climbing those and trying to go over. Fuck! I would just li- sometimes. Since it took me a while to get up there. You would I wait just, on the top. Oh yeah, I just roll over to the to, to the next to the next yard sometimes. Bah, I just fell like fuck. Falling? <laughs> yeah, I just like rolled over, like rolled. Just toss cr- yourself over or what? Yeah, pretty much. Fucking, I remember. So, uh, uh, like where my mom's family grew up, it's a small little town, right? So fucking people either didn't have fences. Or they had, like, real short fucking uh, chain link fences. Yeah. Like, the ones that are, like, four feet tall or whatever. Yeah. Just enough to keep the dogs in and shit. And, like, the the pest animals out or whatever. Or they would have those wooden fences. Dude, fucking, as a kid, I got pretty good at hopping those four-foot ones. Uh, So much to the point where, like, since it was a small town, fucking all the kids... Would like you said earlier, fucking meet up together and do a bunch of dumb shit, dude. We would just like run around and do our shit or whatever, and fucking we would hop fences. All badass, dude. Like just straight running through several backyards. Uh, the the technique was to like when you're running, put one one foot into the middle of the link, like in that into the middle of the the fence. Yeah. Uh, and and if you caught your your foot in there just right, like essentially it's like a springboard. So like you you could use that to push your momentum forward. So do we we would get good enough to be like pat 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 
couple steps, jump to the next one, couple steps, jump to the next one. And then you, you would always get to that wooden one. Sometimes some people wouldn't put their foot right, so you would just hear bang. <laughs> Where the, the fucking gate is bouncing. And that was usually me. <laughs> no, no, but fucking I hated I hated with the wooden ones because uh, you know how the planks on the top, since they're exposed yeah, to like the sun and the rain and shit, like they would get sharp. The splinters. Yeah, no, well, not even that. Like the the wood would just rot from the top because all the yeah. moisture and the bugs and shit, so that they they would get spiky. Yeah, so, they like, would, like you, you would go to, sand them. Yeah, like you you would go to put your hands in and like your fucking hands would dig into it and you're like ah fucking. When you do that, like you fucking throw your hands up and you fall off the fence. Ah, uh, I hate wooden fences. <laughs> but yeah, dude. Yeah, fence, fence nothing but wood. If- yeah, I don't think about what if this is over where I grew up. So, yeah, to fucking learn how to jump those shits. In fact. But when you were jumping them, were you jumping them from the outside or from the inside? Well, either one, you have to do it. Yeah, from the inside, it was easier. Cause yeah, because had, the, had the two braces. Yeah. And then from the other side, you didn't have nothing. You had to, like, like somehow you have to climb. get grips. Yeah, you have to grip them with your shoes. Yeah, you. I mean, I guess... If they had done the American Ninja Warrior shit <laughs> in the late 80s and 90s, that shit would have been prime time in America. Yeah. They don't do that shit anymore. Ain't no kids hopping fences like that. No shit. I don't ask my nephew to hop any fences. <laughs> Dude, my kid doesn't even go outside. What the fuck? <laughs> he, hates, he hates getting dirty. I'm, it's my fault. Whatever. <laughs> But, I mean, at the same time, like, you can't even trust people anymore, man. Fucking people kidnap kids and everyone's, yeah. like, more aware of the predators. Well, it's good that people are more aware, but it's just like you feel like now everybody is. <laughs> yeah, like, you can't trust anybody anymore. Yeah, like one time, my nephew went, but when, well, he's older now, but when they were younger, like, when their friends stay over... Like the dad, the dad will literally went in the house to see how was, you know, what the house was like and who was there and, and shit. It, yeah, like like they, like they would talk to parents, right? But but he wanted to come in. I can see what's, you know, like well, yeah, like uh, that's cool. Like, you're a bit more aware because you never know shit. Fuck. For real. Yeah, but that's. I guess that's now how it is now. You, I mean, I don't know if every parents is like that nowadays, but I'm I'm glad there's parents, not just saying yes. Gotta go to these people's house, you know, fucking go over and check it out. Yeah, because if you notice now, like not a lot of, like most of my, well, I grew up in the same neighborhood. And like yeah. not everybody don't doesn't. Like huh? people are friends from across town. Like, I don't know your kid's friend. I bet you most of them don't live nearby. No, he doesn't have friends, man. <laughs> kids <laughs> he are... plays. Does he play online with friends? I mean, with people he doesn't know. Yeah, sure. Oh, I thought he played with like, people from school or something. Nah. He's uh, kind of awkward. <laughs> every, every kid's awkward nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. Like, even some of my coworkers were like 18, 19, 20. They kind of like, weird. Oh, they are, and they say they don't like talking to people. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, you can. I understand. Anything. Yeah, I understand not talking like to people, but but to really uh, I, go out your go, get out of your way to not to talk, yeah. talk to people. Like me, I just hate people. <laughs> like I, I'm, I'm not racist. I, what would what would that be? Uh, I, I hate everyone equally. <laughs> it's just people piss me off, man. I don't I don't know. Maybe I'm just a cynic and I hate everything. Uh I mean, yeah, I am. Fuck. What do you mean? Uh I've been I've been recording myself shit on things for 3 years. For those of any of the people that have been listening to this, if they're people and not bots. Uh yeah, I I think they can peg me. <laughs> uh, 
the the way I am on this show is the way I am in person. Almost directly linear. But for me, I'm the kind of person I don't like to bullshit. I'm not a fucking a kid in high school that's like, oh, we're we're gonna make up break up bullshit, right? Like, either you wanna you wanna hang out with me or you don't. If you don't wanna hang out with me, cool. If you do wanna hang out with me, cool. E- either way, <laughs> I'm cool with it. Yeah. E- either way, like, fucking, I'm gonna do my thing. And uh, I guess for some people that that they don't like that, right? Some people just want you to kiss their ass all the time. Or just want them to. They want the attention to know what they're doing, like how it is nowadays. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I, I want attention too, right? But at the same time, like I, I feel more. I feel better as a friend when I listen or I help. Yeah, sure, it's cool to get recognition or whatever the fuck, but I like to be the. In real life, I guess I'm a support character. RPG thing though. <laughs> 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 Whoops! Fuck. Uh, nah. Uh, but, but yeah, fucking. Uh, yeah, and I mean, people nowadays are just antisocial because everyone's on the internet. Like the communication yeah. is on the internet now, right? Uh, meeting face to face is like VHS to us. <laughs> we just like we we know what it is, but like it doesn't exist anymore, and that's yeah. that's what I feel like personal contact is to kids now because everything is online, everything's digital, everything's on fucking Facebook or the Twitter or the the Instagrams. That's that's not my jam, dude. Uh, I don't know. I just we, <laughs> yeah, we, we, we we're, we're too old. <laughs> we we've become so impersonal, yet we put our entire lives out on the internet. Uh, that that's a bizarre notion that I can never get behind. Like, like I said earlier, like if you want to know what's up with me, and you have my number, or you have my email, you have a way to contact me. You know where I live. Uh, doors always open, right? Like I'm, I'm very, I'm very open and very receptive. If you don't want to talk to me, well then maybe I'll shoot something to you. Maybe I don't. But I mean that, that's life. I got I got my own <laughs> shit to worry about, you know. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, I, I I I like to be a good friend. I I like to. I like to give gifts. Mm. Like uh like Baby Ray. Baby Ray's got some fucking swag now. <laughs> nice little shirt. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It looks pimp. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> but yeah. Uh fucking we'll we'll keep it going, but I have to go to the little girl's room. Ooh. So, take your headset, like, like Chief would say. <laughs> just so you can hear me piss. Uh-huh. Shout out to Daddy Ice. China Man. Can't say that. I didn't say anything. <laughs> in, I mean, is that considered not cool anymore? Ah, fuck, I don't know, man. What is? What is? Yeah. That's yeah. a good point. Hold on. Let's Google that. Is the <laughs> phrase Chinaman bad? <laughs> oh, oh, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> According to a lot of web, uh, websites, first one that came out uh, from Wikipedia, cite your source. Chinaman is an ethnic slur referring to a Chinese man or person. Shit. <laughs> Reappropriate.co. Yes, the term Chinaman is derogatory. Uh, 
Huffington Post. Yes, China person is a racist <laughs> term. Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, boys. <laughs> uh, well, fuck me. I guess you learn something new every day, and hopefully I don't get canceled for it in 10 years. <laughs> but w- with that being said, let's uh, take a word from one of our sponsors. Rich and Rare. A recipe coming all the way from the Villa Antigua, handed down generation to generation. This chorizo is so juicy, it'll end up running down your chin. You'll be hooked from the first taste, all the way to the last drop. Some have described it as finger looking good, but this chorizo is so good, it's it's finger finger sucking sucking good. good. O como decía mi abuelita, tan jugoso que lo vas a mamar sin parar. Get it today, el chorizo de papicitos. Pero cuidado con el chorizo, my need it for later. And we're back, and again, thank you, papicitos. Chorizo. But, uh, yeah, we appreciate uh, all the love you're sending our way. But, yeah, after I went to the little girl's room, I went and picked up another beer. I'm still drinking the Gnite from Oscar Blues Brewery. Talked about it the last time. Uh, It's okay, again. Not the best. But... For an Indian Pale Ale, it's not the worst. It's an Imperial Red Indian Pale Ale. And it's okay. Uh, I'm not going to buy it ever again, but it's good to try. But you were uh, you mentioned you you were drinking something. Yeah, I was drinking uh, uh, pills. Budo pills from... In the free free tail, right? It's free free tail brewery. Yeah. Oh, that's the stuff that uh, garbage was Gar- talking about, right? Yeah. Budo pills from Budo free pills. tail brewing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, I've... Go ahead. it's pr- pretty good. It doesn't have much taste. Like yeah, it's a pilsner. Yeah. They're usually pretty, pretty light, refreshing. Like, yes, it is, and. I bought the other one that he had, uh, Cowboys from Hells or whatever, Cowboys. From Hellis. Hellis. Yeah, uh, that one's, it's bitter, but not in a bad way, I guess you want to say. Uh, At least to me. Boys from Hell. So what kind of beer is that? A Munich-style lager. Yeah, it's a lager. <clears throat> and it's a tribute to Texas' baddest band. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, the one from Free Tail that I I rec- really recommend is, I think it's Bats Out of Hell. Bats Out. What, <clears throat> what is that one? Uh, hold on, let me make sure. I... Uh... Oh, it's Bat Out of Hellis again. And uh, let me see. Let's go to the images so that I can at least read the can. Oh, I see. I see that one around. Yeah, that one's really good. It's a, it just says German style lager. It's really bitter. No, mm. no, no. The German lagers are usually real clean, and that's that's the shit that you want to be drinking. You know, them Germans know what's up. Uh, but yeah, the bats out of hells from Free Tail. That one's pretty good. <clears throat> it's a one. it's a good light beer. It's got flavor. Uh, I recommend it if you see it. Because I noticed I, I, I like the, I guess, the blonde nails more. Yeah, the real light ones. Yeah. Yeah, well, me personally, I like, I like them a little darker. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, oh, fucking Guinness. Guinness is the shit. <laughs> Guinness is okay. I think Guinness kind of tastes like trash water 
<laughs> uh, it's really it to me besides it's a, bitter it's, a, it's i don't know yeah i can't drink it like it, i tried a few times uh, it, it's supposed to be flavorful but it like every time i have one whether it's on tap or in bottle uh it tastes flat like it looks like coffee and i expect it to be full of flavor but like <laughs> <laughs> the flavor that it has is just bland. I understand why Irish people drink it like water. It makes sense because there's no flavor there, pretty much. But uh, Sam Adams makes a black style lager, and I think that smokes Guinness. I haven't tried that one. I tried. They're Sam they're, they're hard to find. I I oh. they used to be here. For a good while, but then, I mean, nobody in fucking this part of the world drinks that shit. Yeah, I, I see a lot in the, the HB Plus here. Yeah, yeah. That's I, don't where see, I don't see it no more. No? Nah, do they even make it anymore? Let's see. So, I'm, I'm yeah, sure they, they do, but I don't think they're getting them, sending them over here. Yeah, <laughs> they're probably not. It's not their demographic here. Whoops. Oh. Samuel Adams Black Logger. Yeah. It's a Charles Bayer. A Schwaz beer style beer. But yeah, uh, I prefer that over fucking Guinness. I think Guinness sucks. <laughs> but yeah, uh, <coughs> moving on. Um, I have been wanting to talk about this for a while. It just, I mean, we never had time or it never was able to come up. But your boy finally switched to the dark side hmm. and uh he went I, by him i mean me god damn it bobby uh i invested in a i want to call it a mid-tier gaming pc because uh by far i didn't get the greatest components in the world i just got something that I knew about enough to want to get it, and uh, yeah, I pulled the fucking cord, or I mean, I don't know what the expression is, uh, I, I pulled the trigger, <laughs> there it is, dip, 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 dip. and uh, I went to iBuyPower, because they build custom PCs for you, but like they have like their stock PCs like you could buy like their pre-configured ones or you can custom build one so what I did was I went with one of their pre-configured setups and I tweaked it right so for the graphics card I have an RTX 3070 um, well, I don't know <laughs> <laughs> uh, for those of you that don't know the RTX 30 series is Nvidia's newest graphics card and because of fucking Bitcoin and crypto mining uh, getting graphics cards at all is almost impossible uh, so, fucking, yeah, especially the higher-end ones. So, the 3070 is the 30 series, right? So, they have the 3060, which is the lowest tier, 3070, 3080, and I believe their highest one is a 3090. And, which uh, you got? I have the 3070. So, NVIDIA's last graphics card before this was the 20s, the 20 series, and their their best version of that series was the 2080 Ti. So that was like the best of the best that they made last generation of the graphics card. And that one was like retarded expensive. I think it was like almost $1,000 if not $1,000 to get one. Damn. And uh, I mean they would sell out it pretty much instantly, right? And... Uh, yeah, the card that I have now essentially is as powerful as that one, 
but it cost me a third of the price. And it's newer generation, and they have new technology built into them, so they're even better than they were. So, I have a pretty fucking decent video card, right? A graphics card. Um, and then the processor. The processor was the next, like, oh, that important piece, right? Those are the two key things. And for the last maybe year, maybe two years, I've been reading that AMD has been fucking making miles and leaps and bounds in advancement in their chip technology because i mean for everyone else everyone knows intel right the name intel yeah uh i've never owned an amd anything so i i was kind of weary about going to amd but then i kept reading that amd is like fucking slapping intel in the face like Essentially, like, waving goodbye to them in the past, you know? So, I have a Ryzen 5th generation 3600 uh, GPU. CPU? Fuck, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a fucking computer expert. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold on. Today? Uh. Ain't your day. Bitch, you ain't no nerd. <laughs> but, yeah, fucking... The motherboard is an Asus, and uh, it's got four internal fans. It's intercooled. Uh, the, the whole reason why I wanted to spend almost 2000 American dollars is because for the last 10 years, 11 years, I've been using my iMac to do everything that I do. Music recording, uh, I record the podcast on it. Uh, what little imaging editing I do, I do it on this. So, I mean, for the last 10 years, this is all I've used. And the only thing that I've had to replace other than upgrading RAM was uh, the power supply died like five months ago. I don't even remember how long ago it was at this point. And for a piece of technology for it to last 10 years... At least? I I mean, that's a win, right? That's what you want? So I figured I would spend the bucks now to build a PC that I could... If I can squeeze, squeeze five years out of this fucking thing, I'll count it as a win, right? It was worth the money. <laughs> so, uh, like I said about the graphics card being almost impossible to find, essentially all the computer parts are really, really hard to find right now. Um, they're either sold out or like there are so limited quantities like they're gonna sell out as soon as they come into the store so fucking I Since I have no experience building a PC. I figured fuck it. I'll Contract it out to somebody else, right? I'll buy it through someone else and I I, I watch some esports and uh, This company I buy power sponsors a lot of esports teams so, I mean, I've seen the name. I've heard the name. I mean, if they're big enough to sponsor pro teams, I mean, they, they have to have some legitimacy, right? So, fucking, in mid-March, I think it was like the 23rd, I placed the order, I configure it, and they take my two grand that night. For... Like, a week goes by, and I hadn't heard anything back, because, like, they're like, oh, well, it has to go through our accounting, and, like, once all the financials are uh, <laughs> in place, fucking whatever, like, we'll shoot you an update, right? So, fucking a week went by, nothing. I was like, oh, well, I mean, they, they had a, the notice, like, due to COVID, uh, there's a delay on all of our parts gathering, and just operations in general and I'm completely cool with it I don't need the PC right now so I figured I mean take as long as you want but I mean let a motherfucker know you're there right <laughs> so fucking two weeks goes by and I'm like oh shit I haven't heard anything I'm checking my spam folders in my emails checking my 
six different email accounts. Maybe I used the wrong one. And nothing. So I shoot him an email. Contact us, right? Shoot him an email. Fucking like, hey, I understand due to COVID and like all the bullshit that's happening right now. I understand like there's a, a timetable that it's going to take. So fucking I'm cool with that. But like it's almost a $2,000 investment. Like I want to know what progress, if any, has been done. And, like, I worded it really nice. And uh, I was like, all right, cool. Like, I'll, I'll wait. A couple of days go by, and I'm like, hmm, they haven't sent anything. Well, I'm like, ah, I sent that email on a Friday. So they probably won't read it till Monday. And they probably won't respond to it till Wednesday. Fucking Wednesday. Wednesday rolls around, and fucking nothing. And I'm like, oh, shit. Wait a couple more days and it's Friday. Like, fuck, it's been three weeks and nothing. And that's when I started sweating, right? I'm like, fuck, did, did I just get scammed? <laughs> so, like, I start doing Google research. I'm like, is uh, I buy power a trustworthy company and customerview.com? And uh, a lot of people were like, yeah, well, their customer support never, like, contacted me. So, like, I sent them an email threatening to go to the BBB. For those of you that don't know, that's the Better Business Bureau in the United States. They're essentially like the muscle that you squeeze a big corporation with. Because if they find any wrongdoing, like they'll sue the company for you, essentially. And like you'll get your damages back, bro. But we're going to take our cut off the top. So I was like, oh, fuck. I've never had to do that before. Fuck. Uh, I'll give it some more time. And then another week goes by and I'm like, fuck. So I send him another email. I'm like, hey, man, like, enough's enough. Like, what the fuck's up with my PC? Ah, fucking nothing. Then, like, two days after that email, I get an email from them. I'm like, oh, finally, somebody fucking... Is replying, and the re- the email that I got was, uh, it's moved from financial to, we're sourcing parts, and I was like, ah, oh, fucking finally, <laughs> fucking four and a half weeks, five weeks later, some update, and then I was like, oh, well, that got me all excited and shit, so fucking, uh, I wait another, I uh, like, I don't respond to it, so I'm like, okay, they're. They, they get the hint, right? Like, I'm emailing these motherfuckers a bunch of times already. They're like, we'll just feed him a fake update and he'll shut up for a little bit. And then fucking like two, three days goes by and then I get another email like, oh, we've sourced your parts. Now we're going into the build. And then like two hours later, it goes from build to com- build complete. And then build complete to uh, burn in session. And then a uh, final test and fit. Dude, like it went... So, like, they have, like, eight settings for them to clear before they ship it. And it went from the first two. And then, like, two days later, it went through the rest, like, throughout one day. And I was like, these motherfuckers have probably had this fucking PC sitting in a warehouse for fucking three weeks. (laughs) And they were just waiting for me to start bitching to send it to me, right? I was kind of pissed. But at the same time, I was super excited. So, uh, fucking, they still don't respond to the emails that I sent four weeks ago, you know? And fucking, uh, it shows like, oh, it's out for delivery. It'll be there Thursday, which was this past Thursday. And I'm like, oh shit, it's coming. (laughs) It comes. I unpack it. I fucking spend three days or like two days of fucking trial and error to get everything running butter smooth. And I get an email. Oh, well, indicating with our records, this PC shows us delivered. So if you don't have any issues and it was delivered, like, don't email us back. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck off. You uh, yeah, shit. yeah. So they were like, okay, we did it. Like, the transaction is done. If you have any issues with it, call us. Like, we'll handle it, right? But they were like, yeah, uh... It, this shows that like it all was delivered like two days ago 
the fuck are you on about? And I was like, dude, those emails are like fucking months old. What the fuck, man? <laughs> they didn't respond to my emails until it was delivered and I was already using it. Great. So, I mean, fuck. I, it, that's a n- neutral experience. I'm I'm pretty sure they're getting swamped with emails and calls. I bet. If, who knows? I've, I've checked on the website, multiple websites. A lot of them are fucking sold out. Yeah, exactly. That's why I, I was like... Ju- I oh. could just imagine the ones still pending. <laughs> That's why I was like, yeah, like I understand it. Like I know that there's like a drought with a lot of these parts. So cool, whatever. Like I, I don't need the PC today. I essentially bought a PC to play a game that might not go to console. And uh, so, yeah, like I, I'm looking to the end of the year for a game that I really want to play. So, I mean, I didn't even need it. So uh, on top of the COVID restrictions, they had like a, a four week wait on the graphics card just in case they couldn't get one. So I was like, OK, that's cool, whatever. And even then, like y- there's an option for delivery for uh like a delayed delivery so that it it saved me a hundred bucks for them to ship it essentially whenever they wanted to and i was completely cool with that i like i said i didn't need it right now but yeah at least a little fucking acknowledgement i buy power and uh I, i like i said i've been using it for the last two days it's pretty fucking sweet <laughs> Wait, wait, so that might have better be fucking sweet, man. Dude, it's super quiet. Like, I don't even hear it. It's that quiet. Like, has f- four fans, five fans. And it's, it's a case that they make. I don't know. I don't know how case they have. It's supposed to be quiet. I guess. I don't know. Like, I went for bigger fans than the ones that they had. So I think they had, like, a hundred millimeter... Uh, case fans I went for the 120 or the 130 just so that like it could push more air and like I'm not a fan of fucking RGB fucking everything but uh, (laughs) I took all the extra RBG bullshit out the only RBG that's on it are are the fans themselves and the intercooler and uh, it it looks pretty fucking sweet (laughs) uh I usually turn them off, but when they're on, like the case on the front and the left side of it, it's glass, but the glass is tinted and it's almost like a mirror finish. So it's super reflective right now. It just looks like a, an onyx block, right? Like it's just straight black glossy. But when the fan lights are on, like it works like a two-way window, and you can see the inside. It looks pretty dope. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deny it. I was a little hesitant about it looking super douchey, but if you if you put it on a a nice color mode, it's a nice little mwah, chef's kiss, the extra touch. So yeah, I'm I'm glad I got it. It works. Uh, works like a champ but i have been running i only have two games right now i have halo the master chief collection <laughs> and i just bought green hell yes green hell yeah so the reason the whole reason why i wanted to even get a pc was because sons of the forest is going to come out at the end of the year hopefully and uh they haven't made any comments about it being a console version so I I figured fuck it I want to play that game. And I'm looking for a replacement for my fucking ten year old Mac. So uh, bada bing bada boom right. It future proofing myself. And I get a sweet fucking PC out of it. <laughs> uh fucking Green Hell is you 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 go to the Amazon rainforest to like help the indigenous tribes or whatever the fuck. But then you get lost in the Amazon, the rainforest. And it's a survival game. It's 
I've only played an hour of it. Like the tr the training, whatever the fuck the what is that shit called? The intro when you teach you how to play tutorial. Yeah. I've done the, done the tutorial and a little bit after that. The crafting sucks, big dicks. I kind of hate it. It's like redundant as fuck, overly complicated for no reason. But I'm gonna give it some breathing room. I'm gonna get used to the mechanics of the game, and then I'll get back to it. But yeah, uh, I see it. Co-op mode and everything. <laughs> yeah, so back together. I guess. Well, you don't wanna you don't wanna join the dark side, puppy. It's not a dark side. It's more like uh, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, well, if I would have gone, I would always like to go to PC, but I'm into more MMOs on PC. You're, they have way better MMOs on PC than they do on console, but I don't got time for none of that shit. <laughs> true, true. I, I, I'm more excited to play like the stupid games. <laughs> I'm like, if you buy something expensive, I, I wanna. Push it through its limits. I kind of don't. Like I, I know I, it'll handle whatever I throw at it. Like I've been playing everything at max settings, and I mean like, I, just, like butter, dude, and nothing. Uh, but uh, again, I haven't played anything that's super graphically in, intense. Cyberpunk or something. They yeah, say even in, uh, Red Dead or. GTA looks fucking sick on it. I I don't want to buy both of those games again though. God damn it! I bought GTA Five on PS3 and then PS4. Yeah. I have Red Dead on PS4. I'm not gonna buy it for PC. I'm not gonna. The Rockstar is taking hundreds of dollars in fucking shark cards from me. They they don't need more of my money. <laughs> but yeah, fucking. I I want to play something that. When I look at it, I'm like. I get it. It makes sense. But I, I, I've i never been like, oh, I have to have the best graphics. I, like, I have to play at ultra high realistic settings. Like, I've never been that guy. I don't give a fuck about that. As long as the game works and it works fine, I'm good. Because well, there's no game that works fine. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the thing. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, I probably could download mods and shit to make Halo look even better. That's funny. Uh, the first two games you played this are both Halo. old ass games. Yeah, come on, man. Well, I was told Halo is one of the best shooters of all time. I've never played Halo, not a single second. I've never yeah. even held an Xbox control. Yeah, you didn't. You didn't. Buy, you, didn't, you, didn't you didn't need to buy a two thousand dollar PC for, to play. I Halo. bought a two thousand dollar PC to play a ten year old game. <laughs> Talking about twenty year old game. Let's 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 do a quick Google. It's twenty, man. Is it? Yeah. Halo. Halo. What was the first Halo called? Just Halo. Just Halo. <sighs> it had a title. <sighs> Stupid fucking planet or evolved. Uh, oh. Comeback evolved. No. Halo CE Combat Evolved yeah that's what it is um, 20 oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. you're right November 15 2001 tell you yeah well I've, I've been playing with uh, our boy Carlton and uh, d dude he's pretty good he's always fucking popping headshots Oh yeah, Halo. The first Halo, yeah, it's really friendly and smooth, man. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you could you could be really good with the fucking pistol in that. that that's what game. he does. Yeah. That, that there you go. It tells you. I like <laughs> dude the assault rifle, the fucking the like the generic one that they give you. That one's fucking yeah. awesome. That thing rips. We've barely gotten to the level where like they've introduced shotguns, and the shotguns are pretty badass too. 
I don't yeah, I like I like the first Halo more, but when two came out with the guns and they added the guns here, I think that's why it's probably better. Yeah, that that's what Carlton said. He's like Halo One yeah. is cool, but like there's more to do in the rest of them. Yeah, and like the other ones are better. If <clears> you would have implement the two, the things you could do two, and what they added with guns and whatnot to what one, one would be way better. Way, way better. It'd be the best, one of the best games ever. Well, uh, I'm 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 liking what we've played so far. We've played, I, mean, I want to say like four hours, five hours, maybe a little bit longer, but it's fun, and I like, I find it way funnier to just kill him. <laughs> well, he's like, oh, it it's gonna happen. Like we're gonna sticky grenade each other a lot. Like the friendly fire is on. Can't you turn it off? Or should you turn it off? I don't know, but what's the fun in that? Like you're never gonna finish the game with you. We end up killing each other. Okay. <laughs> we 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 end up doing that. Like he'll kill me, and then like maybe a minute later, I'll get him back, and then like we'll just kill each other for five minutes, back and forth. <laughs> uh, but uh, yesterday we were playing, and he had a rocket launcher and a sniper. And he was like, oh, yeah, fucking, I'm going to go over here. And I got into, a like, a a turret. And it shoots, uh, like, long-range rockets. Mm-hmm. And fucking, he was super far from me. You could barely see the icon where he was at. So I just shot a fucking rocket that way, hoping the splash damage would get him. And, like, I shot one, and he's like, oh, fuck, what the fuck? What are you doing? I'm like, whoa, what happened? That, that's not me. What, what happened? And he was like, oh, shit, I almost got fucking blown up. I shot another one when he said that. And, dude, I could see him fly off the fucking, off the edge of the map. And he was like, no, my bazooka, my fucking sniper, you rat. He got, <laughs> he got butt hurt. I could tell. He was mad. And I was like, what happened? Your your guns are right there. I didn't even see them fall off the map. They're right there. And I, like, ran to where he was. I was like, look, they're right here, they're right here. He's like, fuck you. <laughs> he moved forward, right? He moves forward, and I'm like, like, dude, they're right here. Come pick them up. And I just hear, <laughs> he fucking, he starts doing what I was doing to him. And I was like, nah, you ain't going to get me, dude. You got to wake up sooner than that. You got to wake up early to get this worm. <sighs> you should play Destiny. <laughs> I told him, I was like, yeah, no. Let's get on Destiny. I hear that, that that game is new and it's fresh. It's upcoming. <laughs> Same as Halo, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. PC Master Race. PC Master Race. But they, they, you don't use the mouse and keyboard. No, I'm, I'm, I'm using controller. Come on now. Well, the, the first day I almost ended up using mouse and keyboard. Because my controller was bugging out, but I fixed it. Um, uh, I, I don't know. F- fucking mouse and keyboard just feels weird. It feels awkward. Yeah. I'm not used to it, though. I see, like, some of the gamers or have a little keyboard. That's what they use since they're just gaming. Obviously, you just use a few buttons. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a long keyboard. It's like a small little keyboard. It's just yeah, the does, It doesn't have the number pad or the arrows and shit. Yeah. Yeah, none of the number pads, none of the other fucking shit. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. Literally just the letter and the enter and the shift. <laughs> yeah. Um. Fucking. Apparently now there's this thing where like, the 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 young ones, like they'll put the keyboard like standing up. So like the keyboard is resting against like your desk or whatever, and they'll play they'll play with the keyboard at a ninety degree angle. I don't know how that works. <laughs> I'm like I'm trying to do it right now, but that feels wrong. <laughs> but then again, I'm not fucking an not idiot 18. born after two thousand. <laughs> God damn it, Bobby. Have you tried? Don't, does this theme have free games? Have you tried the free games? Nah, no, that, that's what I want to look into. Uh, What's the other one there is? Steam and there's another one. Oh, there's a lot. The The biggest one is Steam. No, but... there's Steam, but there's another huge one. Like, it's Reverie. There's another one. I forgot what it's called. 
let me see. Let me because Epic has their own launcher now. Ubisoft has their own launcher now. Rockstar has their own launcher now. Damn. Yeah, that's one of the things that like I was like, man, fuck PC gaming, dude. On a console, all I gotta do is download the game, dog. <laughs> let me see. Steam rival. Oh. You're not gonna play Counter Strike? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, oh no, I can't find that. Okay. Tom's Guide: Seven Best Steam Alternatives. EA's Origin. There's GOG. Never heard of that one. I think it might be Origin. HIO. Gamergate. Battle.net. Epic. Discord. That's it. Fuck you, Tom. Maybe Epic. Yeah, well, they just launched theirs not too long ago. But yeah, they're taking a lot of big titles, too. Uh, but yeah, that's... uh. That's me getting my toes wet in PC Master game race thing. <laughs> Do a fishing game? We play some fishing game. <laughs> I bet you there's fucking awesome fishing games. But yeah. <clears throat> uh, I guess since there's a little lull here, I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick break. But uh, we'll be right back. Don't. Turn that dial just so so soon. Rich and rare. And we're back. And uh, as we're recording this, a new movie has hit HBO Max. Not a sponsor. <clears throat> and uh, that movie being... Uh, uh, yeah, Mortal Kombat came out, and uh, I wanted to talk about it with the boys, but uh, garbage is under the weather, and Poppy's still hasn't seen it, so I don't want to get too into it. So all I'm gonna say is that there are buttons ready. <laughs> And if you really want to test your might, then all you got to do is fight. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we'll talk about it next week. It'll be old news by then. But whatever. Fuck you. You don't pay me. Fatality. <laughs> the one thing that I need to get is headshot. <laughs> I'm surprised. Unreal. I, Are they called Unreal? Unreal Tournament. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised I don't have that. But yeah, uh, your boy saw it already. And uh, again, I'm going to hold my tongue. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe like, shut the fuck up. (laughs) Uh, But yeah, um, fucking, since it's just me and Poppy, uh, an hour is usually the time that I like to go. So I don't know if there's anything you want to bring up, Puppy. Anything last minute? I miss garbage. <laughs> Here, let's listen to his music just to make our, just make us feel better. <laughs> wow! I nearly his magic cards across the I don't know why. Like I, I when I hear it, I picture him putting on like a green cloak. <laughs> and like <laughs> fucking shuffling his deck all fast and shit. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you, Poppy, for joining me today. Mm. Uh, I want to go ahead and thank everyone that tuned in. Hopefully, you're doing well and in good spirits. Uh, I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. And 
if no one has told you today anything positive, let me be the first to tell you, you're awesome. You matter. And just spread the love. Make somebody's day. Tell a stranger how fucking they look good today. If somebody told me in public, like, hey, man, you have some fucking nice shoes. I'd be like, fuck yeah, I do, bro. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I get that compliment a lot because your boy, mm. your boy is into shoes like a bitch. <laughs> but whatever. Yeah, Sh- share some positivity. I'm too negative all the time. So let- let's end it on a good note. Thank you, Poppy, for coming along. You're a good friend, and I'm glad I, I'm glad I met you. Uh-huh. I'm not glad I met you sometimes. (laughs) I knew that was coming. (laughs) But yeah, thank you guys for joining us. This was Hey and Hovey. Much love and rich and rare.